There we go. Hello everyone, welcome back to Trail Through Daybreak. Last time we got well, started in Chapter 2. Now we just reached Longport. And now we're supposed to be like running around looking for side quests and stuff. I know. What do you need? They have food for us to buy. There you go. Thanks. I'm always gonna need so much of this stuff. Oh, I just ripped my bots off. Oops. They fix that. Hey, friend. You've come to the right place. Yeah, thanks as always. We're selling out knockoff goods. What have we got? I'm being pursued by an organization over a certain package. Could you help me show my... I can't show my face post. So I'd like you to talk to the old lady pal on Main Street of the Eastern Quarter. I don't see anything that looks super urgent. Me neither. Never pick of the litter. Nothing the matter, Van. Uh, I just think back on old times. I first came here, I was just a greenhorn. Now I'm the one leading greenhorns on my return trip. I comes at you fast in both good and bad ways. Avi once said the very same thing to me. I had no idea what he meant, and I still don't, but that means I always love hearing wise old man sayings. I'll pretend I didn't hear the old man part. Anyway, let's get to work. Uh, we'll probably run into some familiar uh, familiar faces along the way. What is that? Why? Take your time looking. Be seeing you. Hello. Better buy uh. still look as long as you'd like. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I'm so cramped here. Stay close to me, you two. I don't want to lose my assistance. Hey, man, how's it hanging? Man, what's it been? Four years? Come on, I was here two years ago for work. Oh, me and my memory. Still day drinking or what? Hey, I'm living on the straight and narrow now. Only getting swindled while drunk out of, uh, out of my gourd was the last straw. You had to bail me up. Probably wouldn't have had the store or much else to my name. Nowadays, me and booze only get together once the moon is up. Now that the wife really sees a difference in when I'm doing it. <laughs> well, at least you got that going for you. No girl's all well and good, but what about you strutting around town with a doll in each arm? Ass hat, you know that ain't how it is. Uh, hello. Good afternoon. Anyway, we're here to ask you about something. Take a look at this. Never seen anything like it. Oh, why'd you take a picture of it? Oh, it'll always be safe to show people the real thing. I can't say I have. It's clearly quite old and a superb questionship, though. Is it a pocket watch? Nah, it's an ornament. No worries about any of this, like, floating... Well, any, like, this floating around? Anything else. Way back, there was some rumor about a fancy Opal watch being sold off. And there's a long stretch of no news at all. They'll just reach they heard of something matching that discretion being sold down by the docks. And they do sold it in the first place? Couldn't tell ya. Maybe the fact that even I don't know how to tell you something. No kidding. An expert like you is totally in the dark? Something must be going on there. Well, whatever it is, thanks for the tip. Anytime. Good luck out there, Van. Hello there! He's our trade person for around here, I guess. Yeah, that's right, we do have a whole lot more of uh, Sepeth Mass because I Come went again. and did the. Uh, Hello there! Come again! Points, anyway, because I went and, like, what was it, basically, like, acknowledging our completed. Uh, Achievements, I guess, is the best way to put it. There are so many shops around here. Uh, 
Oh, that's probably the old lady we're supposed to talk to for that side quest. Oh, good stop right here. Take as long as you need. Went. What went into this medicinal porridge? Who knows? I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> Whoa! Check out that ocean. The breeze here feels so nice. Oh, well, we found the bar. Well, well, look what the cat dragged in. You should know better than to come to a place like this. Um, hey, girlies, how about we buy you two as a drink? Yeah, we'll treat you to tasty stuff. Oh, you a bug, you're gonna break it! Go easy on them, kiddo. Just a couple of lousy drunks. Are you sure? Seriously? Again with this? How many times do I have to tell you to not to bother folks? Oh, uh, come on. Hell, we were just trying to spook them. There's no wonder you took my arm clean off. what if you off. deserved it? He's right, you know. What kind of loser almost gets their arm broken by a kid? That guy. <laughs> Nothing's may change, but the drunks here stayed the same. I'm so sorry about them. The sailors all come to get rowdy during their breaks. They're a bunch only a mother could love. But try to forgive them, okay? Uh, of course. It reminds me of the grown-ups back home who couldn't handle their drinks. Nice seeing you, Holly. Good to see you, too. I hear you've landed a real toughie of a job this time. Oh, you two know each other? Yeah. Well, let me show you to your table. Is it Hale? Hal? My name's Hallie? Hal. Oh, when I'm Hal. not serving drinks, I'm dealing cards around these parts. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Anya's Claudel. I work for Valen's company part-time too. Well, actually, it's kind of complicated. My name is Farida Al Faid. I'm here to train and pay back Van for the herself. Pleasure's all mine. When did you become such a mama duck? Life's well, been real weird to me lately. Okay, so your partner hanging around here somewhere, or did he finally kick the bucket? Nope. Just hanging out on Gehenna's doorstep like usual. You better not be talking about me. This hangover's nothing. You really been two years already? Since the last meeting in person, yeah. Times now. really are changing, huh? The Lone Wolf's got himself some pups. Shot it. Yuck, Trevor. Name's Jack. Jack Trevor. Bond. James Bond. Ain't a gambler out there who doesn't know my name. It's nice to meet you, sir. Well, you must be quite skilled. Not sorry to believe, but he's telling the truth. These two have a real reputation as a gambling duo. Ooh, that's exciting. Call it a duo, but it's more like I'm on a leash here. Got a problem with that? They travel around to casinos all over the place, which lets them trade all the info they pick up along the Being way. Being an informant is just a side gig. Then <laughs> what's your real job? Alcohol enthusiast? Gambling's a real job. Sure. Anyway, what did you want to ask about, Van? Two years back, started hearing about some guy, but apparently he's a real local celebrity these days. Name's Aaron Way. Ring any bells? Over the lucky sleuth, aren't ya? As happens, this bar is one of his usual haunts. Really? Can you tell us about him? According to Ashin, he sounds like quite the character. He's always one bad fight away from ending up injured, but the never say die attitude is part of his charm. You'll be hard pressed to find anyone talking poorly about him around here. He's a blooded guy for sure. The easy brand him as a no good gang leader. But honestly, those kids would be way worse off without him. Even old folks give him kudos for keeping things in line. Ain't that something? Pretty good gambler too, sometimes you'll challenge me and Hal to a game. Believe it or not, he wins a third of the time. You're kidding. Don't talk like you haven't given me a room for my mirror, too. The more I hear about Aaron, the more he reminds me of Anne. The difference is, Aaron's actually got looks. <laughs> well, I think about it, fans, what you get if you combine Jack and Aaron. The hell's that supposed to mean? Let's talk about what's really wrong here. Jack's face? Fair, but I mean something important. Come on! 
Hey, you guys know the Messeldam Trading Company, right? Tell me, what are the odds Aaron gives up on running them out of town? Zero. Yeah, I see it. You got two options. One, take care of business before the kid goes and does something crazy. Two, make a compromise with you. Both sound rather difficult. How's A doing? They're more unhinged than Aaron, that's for sure. Word is the thugs they're hiring are the worst of the worst. They haven't shown their faces in the Eastern Quarter since Aaron whooped their butts. Hard right, to rest easy, though, with them still hanging around the other districts. They're clearly planning something. I know the guild's got their eyes peeled, but I'm not sure there's much they can do. Think of which, Harry, hey, you've been getting buddy-buddy with the Bracers lately. What's up with that? You gonna visit the branch in town? Romani must have told you, huh? I'm just picking up some slack for them, that's all. Whatever you say. All that going on, I gotta wonder what AUA's thinking. We're more or less safe since this bar is a neutral zone, but otherwise AUA runs the show around here. Let me tell you, some of their elders are real monsters, not to mention Sally. Yeah, we can't get too comfortable around that guy. I'd say it's good that he's in Crossbell right now, but he's probably there to call up Yin. Figures. Yin? I feel like I've heard that name before. Legendary Zhongsho, an assassin of sorts. Some call Yin the demon of the East Quarter. Supposedly they moved over to Crossbell a few years back. I haven't been nearly as active, but Yin's name always pops up when something big is going down. Huh. I wonder if my people have fought them before. Right, betting man, I'd say the demon ain't the only ace up their sleeves either. Assuming the rumor I've heard are true, of course. Don't make me think about all that creepy shit. All I know is this, this town's on a collision course with bloodshed. Unless something's done at least. Let me know if you hear anything, alright? Will do, staying at Guihua Fandian? I don't know how to pronounce that. Shame we uh, couldn't squeeze in a game or two. Gotta say that for off hours. Don't want to corrupt the kiddos, you know? Please visit again sometime. Make sure you get a warm welcome next time. Thank you, we will. I want to hear lots of old stories about Van. Oh, I've got some really juicy ones. Better keep those to yourself, you hear? Okay, thanks. that's all the info we're gonna get here. Next stop is Newtown. Was it the first place we went to when we arrived in Langport? Yep, just over the bridge, so we can just walk right on over. No need to take the car. I wonder who that is. Hello again! Oh, it's Ashen. Didn't think we'd be hearing from you again so soon. Did the situation take a turn for the worse? No, don't worry, that's not why I'm calling. I should want to give you all a request. Oh, gotcha, they give me the details and decide the job's right for us. Alrighty, here's the rundown. There's a problem in the tourist area that's managed by Heiyue. A dangerous monster showed up out of nowhere, so tours are being put on hold. Need us to take care of it? I heard Heiyue's on guard because of Amana, so I'm guessing their hands are a bit tight at the moment. If they turned to the guild, it seemed like they could handle problems on their own turf. Got an image to protect, right? You got it! Think you can handle it? I'll pay above the guild's rate. Well, I think it about meets our standards, but we got a packed schedule. I gotta see if we have time to fit it in. No, oh, of course you don't have time, that's perfectly fine. We'll be able to take care of it by ourselves eventually, but we'd just rather have the matter settled sooner rather than later. The ferryman by the wharf in the Eastern Quarter will fill you in on the specifics if you decide to take the job. Like a big monster sounds like it'd be a fun change of pace. That qualifies as a fun change of pace to you? That's mildly concerning. Either way, if we got the time to do it, we should. Might be worth dropping by Newtown to get our equipment in order. It's usually a good idea to run around, you know, pick up all the new side quests, etc. No there need to be shy get. now. <laughs> that one ain't bad. Pretty decent heal on top of also giving a damage boost. That cures KO, huh? See you again! Here we are. We have that shop there. Two other shops it looks like to hit up. I can't wait. Oh, did you hurt something? Do you know what you want? Okay, so this is for healing items. I 
Let's at least carry a couple of each of the the that is human healers. That's nice, but it's also really expensive. I hope to see you again. Check mark means we've actually eaten it before. Okay. Got it. See you again. Back there for you. That show was awesome. I hope we can see it again. What'll you have today? All right, a new New gift. Thanks for coming. Me too. I can see why it's such a hit. <laughs> the lead seems kind of cocky, but overall, it was a decent show. Yeah, that seems to be everything here. This side of town is so different than the Eastern Quarter. There's even a movie theater here. I recall this is all part of a new development, uh, new, uh, new development effort. Yeah, back in the day, all that was here was the port down south. After Calvar went democratic and the Orville Revolution happened, things started changing around here. Oh, I guess that's why it's the second biggest city in the country. Just look at that huge building. That's the Longport Trade Center. Some people just call it the Great Spire, though. Don't think we'll have much to do there for this job. For now. Anyway, let's check the bulletin board and get moving. Hey, it's you guys again! Oh, aren't you that reporter from the Tyrell Times? Is this a friend of yours? Not exactly, we just bumped into little Miss Tryhard here a few times Enough now. Enough about that. What are you doing in Longford anyway? Up to no good, I bet. Business as usual. You getting into trouble again? No. I came here to write an article for the culture column. That's done now. But I get the feeling something big is about to happen here. So I'm using some time off to stay and find a scoop. That's some dedication. I'm surprised she knows what's going on. Just me, Dingo did mention that she has good luck. Good luck and a good news, apparently. Have fun with that. Peace. Um, she's following us. Let's ignore her. She's still following us. Not even trying to hide it either. All right, what well, gives? You're running on for dirt on Giacomo. I'm fresh out. No way. That's yesterday's news. Care to explain why you're glomming onto us then? Don't mind if I do. There's an analogy. If trouble is monsters, then you're Sephith. While you don't necessarily cause trouble yourself, you certainly seem to attract it. So if I follow you, I'm bound to find my next big scoop. Just pretend I'm not here and go about your business as usual, okay? Like hell we will! Actually, I'm feeling generous. Let me throw you a bone. There's an important person in Longport right now. Take a gander. Maxim Lugan? Oh, it's the guy who really likes himself. And what are you? What is a superstar like that doing here? Can't say, got a client of fidelity I'll uphold, you know? But I'm sure that it goes without saying that it ain't normal for a guy like that to be wandering around a place like this all by his lonesome. Very true. Unfortunately, we got too much on our plate to keep an eye on him. So, if we've got to give up on our lead, why not pass it to a friend of Dingo's? I want to write about politics, though. This sounds like something fit for a tabloid. You got a sports section, don't you? Sides. Maybe getting a scoop here will get you transfer the transfer you've been looking for. Plus, I bet you'll understand Dingo better if you give his line of work a try. You make a compelling case, Spriggan. I'm no expert in reporting celebrity news. I'll pursue this story of journalistic integrity and respect for the subject's privacy. Just you wait, Dingo. I'll catch up to you before you know it. That's the spirit. Anywho, good luck out there. Thanks for the lead. See a breakout article tomorrow, the Pulitzer Prize. 
What a charming person. She can't be much older than me, right? Um, she's a reporter, so it's safe to say she's at least 20. More importantly, you did it again. A little vivid won't hurt. Won't get her a story either, though. Oh, well, find the ways and let's go check out the job board. Aye, aye. All right. This is my first time visiting the Eastern District from my home in Arasian. I heard about our great city from one of the guides here, and I think if you were to serve as my tour guide, I'd have a lovely time sightseeing. Say, please come to me at the Kowloon Hotel if it pleases you. Looks like there's more. I heard you had knowledge of Eastern Martial Arts. As such, I'd like you to take my place as an instructor for a short time. It's nothing serious. I swear, if you're out for it, come to the park in Newtown. It's texting me. I'm ready to tell you where the dummy company's at. Just send along the info. Feel free to scout it out. Wouldn't recommend charging goats and blazing, though. That's where it is. Something the matter? Nah, Jack just gave me the location of the Missile Dam Trading Company. We're heading there now? Are we gonna blow the door down? I'll prepare the explosives then. Don't do that. I'd rather not get arrested for arson. Just want to take a look at the building. We ain't in any rush. Location's on our map app, so we can check it out after finishing some requests. All right. There's like a bunch of shops around here, it looks like. Hey, did you see? There's a new movie! <laughs> well, she's hanging around here, I guess. Ah, uh, welcome. I hope to see you again. Welcome! Please step on up. What'll you have today? Oh, uh, one of the rose items is here too. We hope you enjoy your stay as you browse the finest goods Longport has to offer. Thanks for coming! Well... Hello there! How big is that great for Van there? These are actually a pretty nice upgrade, it looks like. And, oh, dang it. Wanted to give that to her. Then Fairy and Anya seem to have lower defense than Van. Resist now. What the heck? Huh. Come again. Do you know what you want? Taking up all of our space, Sepeth. I figured her was probably the best one to work on opening a bunch of stuff. And, you know, she's basically the primary caster character. I hope to see you again. Hello there! Come again! You'll never believe what happened. Great spire, 
You there. Hey there. Dude, street what will it be? See ya. Looking for something to drink? What'll you have today? Thanks for coming. I'm starting to notice that some of like the juices are repeating. This is the building Messeldan Trading Company owns. No more accurate that Almada owns. Right down the street from one of AUA's hotels, huh? That's very brazen of them. They're personally trying to provoke AUA. It's definitely out of it. The other's being a show of confidence. Doesn't seem like many folks coming in and out of here. I had to wager the old skeleton crew here and their main forces hold up elsewhere. Ah, so this is the FOB. I can see the tactical advantage in that. There are one now, sometimes it can be so hard to follow. About this place rubs me the wrong way, but busting in there ain't really an option. I'll focus on other parts of town for now. Oh. Maybe he's got some keen senses on him after all. We were warned that he may pose a threat. Remain vigilant. Then. Really hoping there are more shops in the harbor district. Oh, well then, okay. But we're definitely holding off then. San Diego? I don't know, she, uh, I saw the big red hat and I'm like, wait, what? This must be the Eastern Activated Park. like an old part of my brain. Man, is that really you? Oh, it's been much too long. Have you gotten taller? You have, haven't you? Uh, don't think so. Was that long ago I last dropped by? Who's this nice lady fan? This is Pow. She helped me big time when I was just starting out. She ran in back in the day, but she closed it down. How's retirement treating you? Quite well, in fact. It's nice to take things easy for once. But we still lend an ear to those in need. I rather enjoy helping the young ones along their journey. Unlike someone I know, there's a wise old lady in a village near my mine. Makes me feel warm and fuzzy knowing there are other people just like her. What? I'll talk to her again. Now, looking into that Neil guy's request. Good to hear he's in quite a bind, so he could use your help. So, a friend of yours or something? Not quite. Neil is a traveler of sorts. I had a trouble looking his face, so I called out to him. That's when I learned he was being pursued by Heiyue. It all seemed like a big misunderstanding, so I wanted to assist him however I could. What? How did he become a target of Heiyue? Did he do something bad? I think it's faster if you heard the details straight from the horse's mouth. Also, you never know who may be listening out here. How about we meet in our room back at Guihua uh, Fandian? Not Heiyue would be able to eavesdrop on us there. An excellent idea. I'll tell Neil to head over right away. Would that be a problem? Do you want me to contact him now or later? Go right ahead. Very well, then. Commencing mission! 
It's a pleasure to meet you all. My name is... Oh, wait. Neil. I, th I don't know why I'm still using pal voice. I'm Van from Mark Right Solution. These two are my assistants. Let's get right into it. Can you give us the details of your request? We hear from Pal that you're being pursued by Hayway. Yes, that's right. I can't even walk around outside. And it's all because of this stupid package. Can you tell us what's inside of it? Yeah, I checked the contents when I got it. It's full of Central Eastern sweets. And when I looked into it more with Pal, we discovered it has a detachable bottom that chides a white powder. I think it's some kind of narcotic. Narcotic? Hey, you ain't banned the trade of drugs in Longport. No wonder they're after you. I can tell you aren't a dealer based on how you're talking about this. So, how'd you get a hand on that case? It's a long story, but I don't mind telling you if it'll help. It all started four days ago when I was still in the Central East. Traveling around the world is a hobby of mine, you see. Uh, just as my trip was coming to an end, I ran into someone. The person asked me if I wanted to do a simple job for them was to take this case back with me to the Republic. And you accepted it? Of course, I had no way of knowing it had narcotics inside. That'd be easy money. I was excited at the prospect to turn my hobby into paid work. I was told to deliver this case to Longport, and that's why I'm here now. Or I can make the delivery, though. Hey, you started chasing me. I had no idea what was going on. Or I would have gotten myself caught had Pow not hid me. And it's a fine mess you've landed yourself in, and the old lady dragged herself into it, too. Okay, so that covers how you got here. I want to know more about the orders you were given regarding the case. Your answer could change how we deal with this issue dramatically. Well, there's been recent developments regarding that. The person who gave me the job contacted me a few hours ago. After I told them that Heiyue was chasing me, they gave me more orders. Told me to drop the case off at a designated time and place. I don't think they want to do a handoff. And I started panicking when they heard that Heiyue is on their tracks. So what should we do from here? Simple, we take the goods and do the exchange instead. We'll lure the guy of the shadows and hand them off to Heiyue. End of story. Are you insane? That's suicide! It's a risky plan, but I don't see any other alternative. I want us to properly get rid of the drugs and ensure your safety. This is the only way. I volunteer myself to handle the transfer. I think that would be a good experience for me. Uh, they might let their guard down when they see a kid doing the transfer. All right, this one's all yours, Farida. Roger. Okay, let's hurry to the drop-off point. You stay here. I'd rather you not wander around until we get you off the hook. Works for me. The designated location is the park area in Newtown. They said to put the case under one of the benches that's facing the sea. Good luck out there, you guys. Alrighty then. Hey, hey. I guess we could. Oh. Heading to the objective. Don't have very many options there. That one's close to the park they were talking about. I think this is the park that Neil was talking about. And I was told to put the goods on one of the benches facing the ocean. Alright, it's my time to shine. I'll be right here if anything happens. Be ready for anything, alright? Understood. Beginning operation. Got eyes on target. What should we do? I'll follow at a distance. Here's the goods. Excellent work. Delivery person was switched out, yes? Yeah, they got a kid to do the exchange. Doesn't look like Hayway's notice a thing. I think we're in the clear. He's the guy who wanted the drugs. He hasn't noticed us yet. I think they're alone too. Should we charge in? Yeah, let's go. Seize them! Why would they find us out? You must have screwed up. I'd have me at once, you hey you way scum. Hey you way? I didn't even realize they were behind us. What I feel like we were made into pawns. Neil must have been the bait. I thought it was weird that he managed to give Hey the slip. Either way, you're doing us a solid here. Saves us the trail bringing them in ourselves. <laughs> we're always happy to clean up the trash. Thank you for your assistance. We are lucky that he issued a request to you. Now then, we will ask that you hand Neil over to us. He's the material witness and a suspect. But he got caught up in all of this by accident. He had no knowledge of the drugs. He doesn't deserve to be punished for this. 
That's for us to decide. Our job is to judge. Yours is to comply. That's one more time. Will you add Neil over to us? One point to request to save our client. Give him an over to hit you. Wait, we'd be like throw him into the wolves. And that's it. We got two choices. We try to persuade him or we fight. We are going with fight. Okay, let's try that. I know you guys got your own way of doing things, but the same goes for us, too. Saving Neil is our job. We're not going to compromise on that. How impertinent. What's does that stand still, though? So, I got an idea. Sell this with a good old-fashioned brawl. We win? You'll have to keep your hands off our client. If you win, he's all yours. I can agree to that. It's your funeral, though. Let's change locations. Okay, it's just us now. No need to worry about locals getting in our way. Fair warning, Spriggan. We aren't going to show you any mercy just because you have children with you. Not as much. We have to win this, guys. Right for Neil. All right, show him how it's done. Get ready. Oh God, I, she does not. She's the only one that's got freaking. Come on. Come on. Oh God, damn it! You won't get oh away good, they didn't get to use up their thing. All right, the crit node. You slow? <laughs> My move now. This'll hurt. Wait. Why was he frozen? What the hell? <laughs> Here goes. Why is he frozen? This'll hurt. Hope you're ready. How did we get hit by ice? Huh. I can't get Van to do anything because that just keeps going off and yeah. What the fuck? The guy back here is the biggest pain in the ass it seems. I don't mind that they seem it's to have so issues hitting her. Got a whole slew of them. Over here. Over here. Uh, she doesn't have a. Hope you're ready. Seriously? Oh god damn it! Not inside. Basically means no touchy those guys for now. I'll take you on. She doesn't have an impede either. No one's hitting shit for a while now. A well, aside from magic. I hope you're ready. Why do I change out his main one? What the hell? Blaze protect us. This is your chance for a shard boost. I'll take you on. Normal attacking is not going to be worth shit. Good luck. Activating drive. <laughs> Eat this. Failed. Oh, instant death triggered. Yeah. Here goes. Use a sharp to get the upper hand. Dead now. What should I do? 
trying to go all out. Initializing drive. Yeah. Perfect chance. This is your chance for a shard boost. We got you. Has bad freaking MP, doesn't she? Please. Huh. Eat this. Here goes. Use a shark uh -huh. to get the explained enemy stats. Blade protect us. Here goes. Oh, we have to break through the. Okay, I think That's you can how that works. Me. Chance for a shark. You won't get away with this. That's nice and all. Your but... for a boost. <laughs> Come on. Really? Supposed to be the one that got blinded, not us. This is your chance for a shard boost. A chance. Failed. There we go. Ah, they're too strong. No wonder the Lu family, Master Sal, placed so much faith in you. Ah, that's just about wrap things up. Now, one thing I've learned from this is that the Gekka style is terrifying. No kidding. Well, you've bested us. As per our agreement, we won't apprehend Neil. Tell him to be more careful when taking jobs that seem too good to be true. Well, thank you so very much. Well, then, I think it's about time we go back and deliver the good news. Thanks for sparring with us. It was tons of fun. What? You fought here? You way and won? I'm so sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. I can't thank you enough. I mean, you saved my life. That was nothing, I'm just glad things worked out. Now you can walk around Longport without worrying about Heiyue breathing down your neck. Now have you learned your lesson? No more sketchy gigs, alright? Of course, of course. I'm happy things worked out for the best. I knew you and your assistants could get the job done, man. Consider the small token of my gratitude. Wow, sweet! Thanks so much! Come on now, I ain't a kid anymore. As far as I'm concerned, you still are. It's not every day I get to see Van being treated like a kid. I'll wire the money to you guys soon. Thanks again. Oh, thank you all very much. That includes you too, pal. Surely wouldn't have been snatched away by Hey You Way had you not stepped in. Next time I come to Longport, I'll bring you some souvenirs from back home. I'll be looking forward to it. Take care, everyone. Mission accomplished. Great job, you guys. Reward deposited. This must be the Eastern Quarter. Alrighty, uh... So this way for our room. Hello? What is that? Hey, hey! Wait, there's a shop up here too? The hell? Did turn on all the other ones we did. Gotta keep this up. Rank up. I'll be taking that. Ooh, new arch driver. No need to be shy now. So we're line up. 
See you again. Well, a man, I do kind of have the urge to give Barry the cat ears. She seems very cat girl coded, as it were. Ah, you came. Heard everything from Lady Ocean. She asked you guys to get rid of that monster, yeah? That's right. So, where do we need to go? Did Lady Ocean not tell you? It's on a remote island called the Eroded Cave. I heard about that place when I came here sightseeing in the past. Not only is the landscape breathtaking, out some mysterious legend surrounding it. It's quite popular, apparently. Yep, but sadly, no one's allowed to go there right now. They only became infested with monsters after that big one appeared. Naturally, tours have been delayed indefinitely, at least until we exterminate those vermin. And you want us to be their exterminators. Ashen did say that Hayways people would handle it if we couldn't. But they asked for our help, so I say we'd do it. Just take some time to think it over. If there isn't any leeway in your schedule, then it's all good. You can use the boat to head there if you decide to accept the job. A tour guide will be waiting for you there. They'll make sure you don't get lost. That's very considerate, thank you. Alright, we'll let you know what we decide in a bit. It's nice just to exterminate large monsters the road kit. Should we take the gig? This place is beautiful. You can say that again. Hello, you must be the fixers who took our request. Welcome to the eroded qu cave. My name is Quan. I'll be serving as your guide today. Nice to meet you. Like right now, then allow me to lead you through the cave. You take a look at the two passageways. Over the years, the waves had dissolved the brittle parts of the surface rock, which created these tools at the... Hey, hold up a sec. Is this just me or you giving us the tourist treatment? I thought you were supposed to take us to the monsters. Oh, I have every intention of doing so. However, we wanted to provide a little treat to you since you're Hayyue's honored guests. Lady Ocean requested that we give you the full tour of the cave. Well, that was a uh, nice of her, I guess. I certainly would object. Isn't it a little dangerous to be doing this, though? I'm sensing a lot of monsters around here. Are you sure it's safe for you to tag along, ma'am? Oh, don't you worry about a thing. Our tour company is run by Heiyue, so all of its employees, including myself, are Heiyue operatives. I am certainly not the strongest in the organization, but I can hold my own in a fight. It's what a long board of badass tour guide ladies. Heiyue sure has a lot of interesting people in their employ. Though it is a little chilling to see how much influence they have in this town. Anyway, let me tell you a little more about the Eroded Cave. Have you heard of the famous legend involving it? Well, we heard of it, but we don't know any of the particulars. Wonderful, allow me to explain then. This is a story that's been passed down for many generations. At the heart of the eroded cave lies a precious treasure, the Wind Spirit Stone. Ooh, that's a cool name! Energy from all over gathers here in the cave, and it's crystallized over countless centuries. The stone possesses immense magical power, and it captivated the hearts and minds of many with its mystical allure. It's gonna get used for evil later, isn't it? Both humans and monsters alike were drawn to it. Soon enough, the land became infested with the powerful demonic beast that had been granted the favor of the stone. That sounds bad. Were the people along Port okay? Yes, they were fine, despite the danger many Jaegers and Bandits traveled here in search of the stone. However, none of them returned, and shortly thereafter, travel to this island was strictly forbidden for many years. What a terrifying legend was expected to be so dark. Now you're getting us to right into the same hot bed of monsters. Correct. There are a lot of nasty little beasts out and about, which makes the story all the more believable. We don't have any issues with them being here. The real problem is the large one that is roaming deep within. If we get ambushed along the way, we'll just have to make short work of them. I've never seen a tour guide with such nerves of steel. Too bad she ain't gonna be much of an asset, cause we are the ones who'll be doing the monster bashing. That's fine, we are more than up to the task. I like your enthusiasm. Now let, let us commence the tour in earnest. We'll be heading through the last passageway. Oh, if you ever need to return to the city, just let me know. Okay, she actually... Yeah, she's not actually, like, on the field. <laughs> Should be at full HP and EP at the moment. Let's get to work! That guy's easy. Enemy suppressed. Nice work. 
Data. You guys are oddly easy. Any boss time? You may have noticed this already, but the terrain here is quite complex. Back by the entrance, the water recedes during low tide, which makes the other passageways traversable. Oh, so we get a completely different experience if we came back when the tide's low. Exactly. Also, believe it or not, there's another legend about that. It said that those who visit the cave during high tide will often fall prey to vicious monsters who grab you by the feet and drag you underwater. After that, you'll be torn to shreds and devoured by ravenous undersea beasts. Torn to shreds? Devoured? And when low tide comes round, you will find piles and piles of jacket bones and tattered flesh. That's why some call this area aquatic hell. It's the first obstacle of the eroded cave. Now oh, I get it. The cave must be testing the courage and willpower of any who come here. Pretty damn grotesque bit of fiction. You sure this ain't a little much for your average tourist? Not at all, or tour visitors tell us they find it thrilling. Oh, there's also the tale of the young man who surpassed the legends. Would like to hear about that one? Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. It's maybe we should save it for another time. Oh dear, we appear to be surrounded. Not for long, it's mop the floor with these chumps. Right, I'm not sure they're mods are from the legend, but I don't need confirmation that's bad. Let's beat them up. I've got your backs. Loading enemy stats. Earth. Going all in. Oh, so Earth and wind. Time to go all out. Still don't really have much in the way of Earth. Huh? Oh, what's wrong? Target. I wanted to put that on the big guy in the back. Damn it, really? My move now. Take that! Take this! Hit him fast, Barry! This is your chance for a shot. Yeah, these guys have really low, like, defense or something. Keep it up! It's working! Really? There. Why do we all suck so much with accuracy? Line with the other girls just in case he's got a line attack. This is your chance for a shark. A chance. Grab the blood. White heel. Thanks, pal. You'll pay for that. Use a shark to get the upper hand. Perfect chance. Activating skill. Drive. He's got him, bro. <laughs> or stunned. Bring it on! Hit him fast, Barry! <laughs> Here goes! Loading enemy stats. Hmm. We've seen worse, what? Uh, like, HP values on our enemies? Excellent work, everyone. I'd heard you were tough, but I didn't realize you were that strong. Well, thank you, but honestly, I felt like I was having trouble keeping up with them in the fight. You say that, but your first work was way better than ours. You aren't being held down by the train at all. Oh, yeah, there are a lot more monsters here than I thought. Guess getting to that big baddie ain't gonna be a walk in the park. 
Yeah, but I don't mind. I'm having fun walking around taking in the view. Let's keep it up, you guys. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. By the way, I have rescue equipment on hand in case anyone falls into the water. So if you're worried about that, don't stress. Just enjoy the tour. All right. <laughs> That's a fancy looking chest over there. Magic attacks. Let's get to work. Damn it. Your charge attack is ready for use. Here goes. That guy does not take much damage. Feeling that she would be able to do decent damage. This guy just reads as I am very strong against physicals. Initializing drive. Hit him fast, fairy. Have some more. Praise Arusha and the flames. You did wonderful, Fairy. There. Oh, yeah, that is breakable. Huh? Looks like a chest. Mirage is for striking fear to our opponents, huh? Wait, what's with the gear Let's thing over there? Charge attack available. Now, let's finish the job. Let's keep moving ahead. What's a ladder? Magic attacks are most effective. Commencing combat. Your charge attack is ready. Here goes. Now, let's finish the job. Unleashing shark strike. <laughs> I can live with this. Nice job, Agnes. The chest is up there too, unfortunately for us. Oh wait, that's definitely progress. Means over here. Need to side stuff. I'm on the scene. Magic attacks are most effective.
Perfect. That's how it goes. Learned heated war. What's that do? Temper HP regen on turn. I by well, guessing from the looks of it, it's just a strength booster? The HP regeneration built in too. around here certain arts will be more affected and definitely way weaker to magic than the physicals going all in activating drive use a shark to <laughs> hit him fast activating skin have some more there yeah their damage is actually pretty reduced here Really? I won't stop here. Yeah, two point four, nice. Two thousand five hundred. Much as if we finished off a side quest. Suggesting magic attacks. Commencing battle. Nice job, Agnes. Hollow core leveled up. I guess we could get one of those chests over there by going to the right. <laughs> oh. The random attack like before. Now let's take a look a look at the holes in the rock straight ahead. You get you can get a nice view of the sea through there. Holy moly, you aren't kidding. Wonder where those holes came from. Actually, there's another legend about that. This place is said to be the second obstacle of the eroded cave. I'm guessing it's too much to hope that this story will be a happy one. Sorry to say, but yes, this place is known as Death's Head. It's a nesting ground for monsters. I mean, 
Isn't this whole area a nesting ground for monsters, apparently? What do you mean, like, the saying, like, this is the, uh, something we didn't know? <laughs> According to legend, the ground was once littered with the skulls and bones of human beings. It is said that the souls of fallen challengers are cursed to wander this place for all eternity, and their corpses longing for salvation would pick themselves off the ground, walk over to the stone walls, and claw at them day in and day out. That's how the holes in the walls formed. At night, the lingering malice was said to have poured out through them, turning the sea a crimson red. Seriously feed tourists these creepy as hell stories? I'm worried you'll scare people away with them. Even if it's a made-up story, feel so bad for the Fallen Warriors. I hope Arusha grants them salvation. I'm gonna save this part for later, but apparently this really was a dangerous place back in the day. That rock formation in the wall actually got their shape from the crashing waves. I believe that over the next few centuries, the stone wall will cease to exist. I think we need to cut story time short. We got company. Again? Let's take them out before more join the pack. Quan, please get behind us. Will be more good. Oh, Let's come on. I do have to take a weird ass long way around there. Deploying shield. You'll pay for that. This will hurt. How long does it take her to cast that? Oh, dang it. Do not have coin bullets up. We got two of them with that. Here goes. This is your chance for a shard boost. Displaying enemy stats. Pull out all the stops! Good luck! We got both of them. Target locked! Why doesn't the slow trigger more reliably? Bring it on. Take this. All you on, yes. Got damage down. I owe you one. Deploying shield. A chance. Use a shark boost to get the upper hand. This'll hurt. I go all in. Full boost. Really should be doing this more. Even if it's not for, you know, S-Crap purposes. Getting kind of Going low on her... ...DP. with an art. Activating skill. Yeah. No! We're down! 
There we go. Should be able to get that. Ooh, that take care of that. Well done. All right, I won't be long before we arrive. I won't. It won't be long till we arrive at our destination. There are obstacles just a little ways from here. Walter should be lying in wait there. Just a little bit more to go, everyone. Uh, just about ready to wrap this up. Not like it's gonna be that easy. Like a whole bunch of chests in. I'm gonna guess the chest with like no red triangles around them means that we can't like reach them due to being high tide. Did, did they say it was high tide now? <laughs> I'll take it down. We're down. We can win right now. There. You're enough. Initializing drive. Use a shark boost to get the upper hand. This will hurt. Think fast. Take this. Hit him fast, Barry. This is your chance for a activating skill. Have some more! A chance! Come on. Activating skill. Sucker! <laughs> I can live with this. You are a great helper, right. yes? Oh, it's the crab. Gotta like swap right into that. Next one. I'll take it from you. Now, let's there. finish the job. There. Huh? There. Huh? There. Huh? Activating shards. Wait, what? Oh, come on. Nice job, Agnes. That looks like a nice chest. Yeah, that is a very nice chest. Yeah, actually. Seen a way to get at that chest, have we? Magic attacks are most effective. I'm on it. Right there. Your charge attack is ready. For I'm on. Wait, hey, what? I got the perfect dodge, but then I didn't. Drive. 
Hit him fast, fairy. Sucker. I just like that fairy seems to have issues hurting these guys. It's about to level. That looks like a nice chest. There. Ooh, EP cut two. Switching to maintenance mode. Play. Single element slot accessed. New shard skill added. Single element slot accessed. Oh, well, we can actually use the brain wide the the same types in different slots. New shard skill added. I think her resist mute seems like a good idea. It's usually something I put up the main character so they always have access to it, you know? Shard skills update. Single element slot access. Oh, dang it. Can we use... Oh, we don't really have wind ones for her to put on. Switching Adjusting to maintenance. Adjusting Modifying your ornament, are you? Oh, here I got multiple switching to maintenance. Adjusting mode. augment. What did I? What? I feel like I'm having a weird brain moment. That is a single element slot. I was expecting her to be the barrage one. That is a single That's element slot. Only slot. New shard skill added. Adjusting or switching to maintenance mode. Switching to maintenance Shard skills updated. New shard skill added. Switching to maintenance. Adjusting mode. augment. Well then, you didn't mind the four water one there. Kind of nice. That really isn't. Mm. That is a single element slot. Shard skills sure. updated. Suggest I'm annoyed about yes. freeze after what happened earlier during the heavyweight fight. <laughs> HP is in this room. Oh, we may have found our way to that ladder, though. Suggesting magic attacks. Now, let's finish the job. Let's make 
Okay, and those shark Certain skills will be also effective. only seem to affect, like, you know, the one person you can so You don't get your variations. Hit him fast, really? This is your chance for the sharks. There we go. There. Okay, good. I won't stop here. I'm stronger than ever. I'm suggesting magic attacks. Oh, look at all these pains in the ass. Okay, so whoever you trigger this, this thing gets the first shot. Got it. Going all in. Zypha, activate. Activating drive. Use a shark boost to get the upper hand. This'll hurt. Good luck. I'll dice you up. Unfortunate. Do your worst. This is your chance for a shard boost. Activating skill. Does it align? Which I guess. Makes sense. God damn it! Wait, R zero. Pull out all the stops. We're down. Here goes. Here's some extra. Hey, that one felt pretty good. You did perfect, fairy. Huh? Looks like a chest. Oh, some rich Magic store, attack yes. is most effective. Right there. Commencing combat. Your Mama, charge attack is ready for use. Fucking crab bastards. Enemy stun. Now's your chance to deploy shards. Really? He punched me through his buddy there. Really? Do your worst. Do you got a full AoE of the entire area? There. You saved me. Ben. Use a shark boost to get the upper hand. Blade for the go all out. I can't use. This'll hurt. 
Okay. Good job. Yeah, now she has fucking zero CP because of the fact she died. This is your chance for a shard boost. Oh, he got stunned. Okay. Here goes. That works too. This is your chance for a shard boost. No. Really just has a whole bunch of issues fighting these guys, honestly. Activating drive. Use a shard boost. Go all out. You got this. Brace yourself. Sucked. You picked the wrong guy to fight. You're a true professional, Van. Should be able to get that ladder thing down, right? Yeah. Huh? Looks like a chest. station. Like spam monsters as a fan and Anya now to try to get our our uh, and why they're freaking CP up. I think I need to change my laundry load. You picked the wrong guy to fight. 131 now. This could get tricky with so many. Let's get to work. Charge attack available. Next. Enemy stun. Now's your chance to deploy shards. I'm on it. Enemy suppressed. Nice work. I'll take it for both. Somehow I dodged and still got hit. Battle finished. Now processing data. Oh. This looks like a stop. I didn't need to run back. <sighs> Just what I needed. <sighs> 
just what I needed. Oh, this looks like a boss room. We have arrived. That large beast should be dead ahead. Are you sure I don't see it anywhere? Eyes up. Huh? Oh, there it is. We are still returning to Crab, apparently. The monster definitely matches the description from the report. It's like this guy's all alone. That'll make this much easier. Then send the old crab meat to a watery grave, girls. Gladly. You're going down. Displaying enemies is your chance for a shard boost. Fifteen thousand HP. We got a car through here. Going all in. Breathe on twice. A chance. Use a shark boost to get the upper hand. Time to go all out. Oh good, I don't think anybody actually got stuck with Certain freaking arts will be fear. More that would've sucked. Certain arts will be initializing the drive. Here goes! Good luck! Actually, get the burning blind to Prague. Probably not. Got spots. boss resists, I'm sure. Zypha, engaging shield. Come on! You'll pay for that. Activate oh, I'm an trial. idiot. I don't have point of this up yet. Over here. All for you. A chance. Certain arts will be more effective. Oh, she's not that hurt. Certain arts will be more effective. Do your worst. Good luck. Here goes. Full boost. Go all out. Attack their weakness this is with an arc. Last boost turn. Keep it up. It's working. Activating Time skills. for the main event. Fans <laughs> alive. Certain arts will be more effective. Oh, lucky Van's gonna get himself uh, drive. zero art turn. Yeah. I just wish her damage wasn't so bad against these guys. Oh, he actually paralyzed it. That, that's a surprise, you gotta say. Certain arts will be more effective. Going all in. Initializing drive. Going all in. This'll hurt. 
That up. Perfect chance. Activating skill. There we go. Activating drive. I swear, our movement range is freaking nuts. You would get enough from the. Oh, I'll take you on. oh there I'll we go. Give me power. Yeah. You're finished. Take me. Boost gauge limit increased. Close. Certain arts will be more effective. This fighting's taking a real toll. Initializing drive. Cypher act. There. I owe you one. There. God damn it. <laughs> Bring it on. AOE bullshit sucks. Damage you got feared. Maximum. I need to heal up. This all hurts. Could really use it. Uh... Here goes. Attack their weakness with an arm. This will hurt. Activating skill. Take you do something else now. Thank you. Do your worst. Right. Yeah. Oh, but actually. I've got this. Great circle of light. Give up to us the breath of life. Boost gauge limit increased. All right, now we should be good for the rest of the fight. He says he's only got, yeah, 3,000 HP left. Oh, I can't get around, dang it. He doesn't have enough this for an aerial hurt. buster. Well, it's for that idea. I'll dice you up. A chance. Boost left. Activating skill. Yeah. You're open. Aw, just short. All right, the battle is won. That thing didn't stand a chance. You all were incredible. Now that the monster has been taken care of, the smaller ones should depart in time. They were drawn in by it, it seems. Thanks to you, we should be able to conduct our tours again soon. I'll be sure to gush about you all to Lady Ocean. Aw, oh, thanks. Now I think it's time for us to be heading back. But before that, I want to ask what it was the uh, was a legend tied to the third obstacle. They... Oh yeah, I was wondering about that. 
As a matter of fact, there is. Follow me. The wind spirit stone was said to be around here. Those who were fortunate enough to make it this far would have borne witness to its dazzling beauty. However, those who dared to reach out to the stone would awaken the wind wicked spirit that resided within. The spirit would create raging tornadoes, swallowing the stone seeker whole and leaving not a trace of their mortal bodies behind. And that's why no one who came to this island ever returned alive. The end. That's quite the unsettling conclusion. I know those legends are all fiction, but they still give me the chills. You said the end, but there's more of the story, isn't there? Oh yeah, you didn't tell us about the young man who surpassed the legends. You have an excellent memory. This is a true story from some 50 years ago. One day, a ferocious monster who resembled a wicked spirit appeared in the eroded cave. It had the power to control the wind itself, leading to stormy waters, and the surface of the sea was painted red with the blood of fishes. Those sound eerily, eerily similar to those old legends, even if the details differ slightly. The Yankers and Execution Squads traveled to the island to quell the chaos, but they all met their demise. It was as though the legend had become reality. But in the wake of the city's despair, a new legend was born. The legend of a young man who conquered the legends. Ah, so that's where he comes in. Despite his youth, his martial arts prowess rivaled that of a master practitioner. He traversed the perilous cave, swatting away the evil spirit's minions left and right until he finally met his prey. Even in the face of its overwhelming strength, the young man, armed with only with his Gekka skills, vanquished the spirit by cutting it in two. I must have been one heck of a warrior. After that, the smaller monsters fled the cave and peace was restored to all. Whether the wind spirit stone truly exists still remains a mystery. Only that young man knows the answer to it. It said that it was the only the first of many adventures he had on his journey. Not a bad story. And the fact that it's true makes it even better. I'd like to meet the guy someday. I would as well. Unfortunately, we have no idea where he went after that or what his name is for that matter. I suppose we just have to let our imaginations fill in those blanks. Kinda of sad that he's a nameless hero, but at least he is an unsung. Anyway, thanks for guiding us and for telling us these stories. Yeah, definitely weren't boring, I'll say that much. I'm glad you were sufficiently entertained. Now, as you head back, I want you to imagine that you're the young creature's hero of the tale. I'm sure things will look very different if you look at the surrounding through his eyes. Mission accomplished! Great job, you guys! Reward deposited! Hi. Rank two gray. Oh, yep. Yeah. At least reach huh? one of these. Looks like a chest. Oh, and there's another one over there. Feeling we probably can't actually activate it, can we? It kind of looks like there's already something yellow there? Maybe I'm wrong. <sighs> Just what I needed. This one. Actually, wait. <laughs> Keep putting off going in, changing my laundry load, so I'll be right back.
Alrighty, I'm back. So we got one in the park over here. Got it. Okay. Isn't this the martial arts one? It's gonna be a fight. Not sure. Looking for something to drink? You're a client. You're Mr. Wong, right? Uh, hello there. You're the Sprigget from the Capitol, eh? I'm in dire need of a trained martial artist, and I'd heard you'd fit the bill. Although you're not quite what I had pictured in my head. Um, I'm not a Sprigget, actually. That'd be me. I was a student of the Kunlun School. Ah, yes, that makes more sense. I feel like I've heard of Kunlun before. That explains why Van Moo is so much like a martial artist. I must have had some kind of combat training, but I didn't know what kind. That's not the only kind of training I've gotten. In any case, I can tell you've had plenty of real-world experience. Even at this very moment, you aren't leaving any openings. You must have seen a great many battles. Oh, you can tell that just from a glance? Heavens no, I made that all up. Hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> very funny. So, you want to give me the job details or what? Of course, of course. I'd like you to do some martial arts instructions in my stead. The move will be simple enough, I promise. Could you help me out? Okay. Sure, I'm down. <laughs> Giant Indian crab tag is weak from... God, that's an old ass meme. So what kind of instruction do you do? I teach hybrid style called Tai Shin, which I created. My 24 techniques from the three major schools of Eastern Martial Arts. What? You created a whole martial arts style? That's so cool. No, it's not that impressive. I just picked out a handful of simple techniques that are easy to learn. I only made it to teach self-defense to others and for exercise. I think that's very admirable of you. Hold on. taishin has been around forever. I know for a fact that you didn't make it yourself. Stealing credit ain't cool. I suppose I can't pull the wool over a Kunlun student's eye. Those unaccustomed to our ways are so easily deceived. He sure likes his tall tales, doesn't he? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Okay, back to business. Why do you need someone to fill in for you? You see, I sort of threw out my back yesterday. I can walk around just fine, but doing any kind of sudden movement is a back-breaking endeavor. Get it? Back-breaking? Ha ha ha. Careful not to split your sides over your own jokes. I never imagined a real martial artist could throw out their back. Don't you guys train your bodies daily? Alas, old age comes for us all, young lady. I hurt my back while on the waves. What were you doing on the waves? Are you kidding me? You were surfing? Of course, I hear all the youngins are doing these days, and I'm always hip with it. I was faced with the biggest wave of the year. My very life was in peril, but my surfer pride was on the line. Thus, I confronted it head on. I was locked in a fierce war of attrition, a battle of wheels and wits between man and heaven. Uh-huh. And I emerged triumphant, so to celebrate my ordained victory, I did a 360 spin in the air. You did what? In that moment, I saw the light. It felt like everything came into focus. Visions of my long life, the peaks, the valleys, and everything in between flooded my senses like a gushing waterfall. And after that, yes, I fell into the water and hurt my back. It sounded like your life flashed before your eyes. You're lucky you got back to the coast in one piece. Indeed, a boat just happened to be passing by. That's why I can't do any instruction today. I'm so sorry that all happened. Maybe you get better soon, man. So, will you take it, uh, take my place? Like I said earlier, I'm down. I'm not a full-fledged master or anything, but I can handle some self-defense instruction. Fantastic! My lesson plan for today was five forms in total. Two Kunlun forms, uh, two Gekka forms, and one Taito form. Oh, well, I don't know jack about Gekko or Taito, so I'm not sure I can help you there. And why don't you enlist the aid of the Bracer Guild? One of its members here is intimately familiar with the Gekka style. I'm sure she would ha be happy to help out. Why'd you even bother asking for my help? Well, the contract signed to no backing out. Thank you very much. Well, we're on the clock now. Looks like that's right over here. You there! How's some pasta sound? I guess you're who we're talking to. Hmm? Oh, you're that sprigging guy, aren't you? See, you've got some civilians with you. Name's Shaoling. I'm from the Gekka School. Oh, right, that's the school Aaron's part of. Yep, like Ashen said, it's one of the big three martial arts schools in the East. And there's a lot of Gekka practitioners in Heiyue, too. Yeah, much to my chagrin. 
Members of our school are supposed to reject violence, not embrace it. It's one of the core principles of Gekka. That's why I have to set a good example if a member of the Head family indulges in violence that others will follow suit. Oh, you're part of the school's Head family? Must be hard to stand your ground on that when Heiwei is always throwing its weight around. I think it's awesome that you're sticking to your guns. You're amazing. If you think so, well, thank you. It's important to keep your feet planted in this, in this city, especially when things are on edge. By the way, you got a sec? Sure, what's up? We're in the middle of a job right now. We can use a hand. Gonna teach people some martial arts. Wanna join? Why would I help with one of your requests? I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. We need someone from the Gekka school, but if you're not feeling, I'll just hit up some other contacts. Peace. Hey, wait. What do you mean by other contacts? Hey, you wait. Duh. Most of them know Gekka skills like the back of their hands. The Gekka name is practically synonymous with Hey Yue these days. But people will be thrilled to learn from real pros. You don't have to waste any of your precious time so everyone's happy. Alrighty, catch you on the flip side. I'll do it. Huh? I said I'll do it. I'm gonna help whether you like it or not. Are you sure? Yes, I know that people associate Gekka with Hey Yue nowadays, but they don't follow the main school's teachings. I'm a student of the original school, so it's my duty to spread the true Gekka style across the world. Is that right? Well, glad to have you on board. I didn't know any better. I think you were leading me by the nose. You really know how to twist the knife, don't you? No idea what you're talking about. The fan doesn't use knives. Just a figure of speech. Okay, let's meet up at the park. Yeah, yeah, got it. No one else here looks... As unique as her. I don't think we've really seen any character dressed like that before. Probably means she's gonna like show up as Bracer representatives and like plot stuff when like big shit goes down. Yo, brought the Gekka Bracer girl like you asked. So, what do you need me to do? First, you will practice five forms in front of each other. You will show Van the Gekka forms, and he will show you the Kunlun forms. At that, you will demonstrate them to my students. God, I can manage that, no problem. Same here. Okay, then. These are the names of the form. Gekka's Twin Crescent Strike and Swallow Stance. Kunlun's Crushing Fist and Rapid Chop. And Taito's Elbow Thrust. Wait, hang on. Neither of us know Taito, so who's going to show off that one? I think I can cover that. I've seen Z Jin use that technique multiple times. For real, you're a lifesaver. I'll be cheering you on. Good luck, you two. All right then, shall we begin practice? Yes, let's. Ready as I'll ever be. Very well then, Twin Crescent Strike. Swallow Stance. <laughs> I can't do it at the same time, so it looks like Van's just bullshitting. Rushing Fist. Rapid Chop. Oh yeah, he kind of uses that during his S-Craft. Elbow Thrust. I guess those are the moves that she said she knew, so that's why she goes first on those. That's it, have you committed them to memory? Yeah, I got them all down. Likewise. Excellent, then let's put our practice into practice. Ho ho ho. Before long, the park was filled with scores of students, and the instructional class began in earnest. For today's lesson, we'll be learning five forms brought- I brought in two experts who will demonstrate them. I'll be watching everyone very carefully. Now then, begin! Third form, Twin Crescent Strike. That's, yeah, that's the double palm strike. Oh yeah, this is- it is actually a freaking quiz one. Eighth form, crushing fist. Yeah, that's like the big backhand. Tenth form, elbow thrust. Why would you punch the air and strike with elbow? Fifteenth form, swallow stance. Uh, extend left leg. 21st form, Rapid Chop. Pretty sure it was the palm. Yeah, it was the palm to heal. Alright, hand slide, whatever. 
Well done. Thanks to you, you, today's class went off without a hitch. Young people today sure are something else. So what are you going to do about tomorrow? I swear my back should be fine by then, so I plan to teach the lesson tomorrow. Are you sure you'll be okay? I can help out again if need be. But I'm not sure if you need it, considering your age. You're in shockingly great shape. Your form is good too, but maybe even too good. I somehow doubt you're doing martial arts just to stay in good health. Now, well, I didn't expect to be found out after all these years. Allow me to let you in on a little-known secret. In my youth, I stole techniques from many schools and made them my own. I'm a warrior of darkness who's imbued his hand in the blood of the greatest masters in all of Zamoria. My true identity is Bloodstained Fist Wong. I've heard that name before, but of course I haven't. I bet... Yeah, I never heard the... I keep just reading stuff. Huh? I'm quite good at coming up with cool nicknames on the spot, if I do say so myself. Let's say Fist Wong. Yes, it has a nice ring to it. I insist on being addressed as such from now on. No, I can't believe I was fooled by this old coot. You got me again, I can't believe it. This guy's a character. Sure you don't want to cut? That the 50-50 offer's still on the table. I know, but I want you guys to have it all. I feel like I've already got my share anyway. It's helped me discover a new way to spread the true Gekka throughout the world. That's a bonus I gotta learn about all of you guys. What do you... What did you learn about Barry and me? A few things. The biggest one being that you're exactly as you look. A couple of good kids. Aww. As for you, Spriggan, I wrote you off as a shady person at first glance, which is part of why I was hesitant to work with you initially. But I shouldn't judge a book by its cover. I can tell you're diligent and disciplined given how polished your Kunlun forms were. I now understand why Jin trusts you so much. I think you got the wrong idea about me. I just had a good master drill those forms into me. I don't complain about you having a better impression of us, though. Let's just leave it at that, then. Mission accomplished! Great job, you guys! <laughs> Love to see it! Reward deposited! <sighs> okay, so... The other one's up here... This is the great spire, huh? Isn't that the shady producer dude we talked to during the, uh... Which quest was it? The stalker one. You're Caroline, right? We saw your request. We're from Arkride Solutions. Oh, perfect. I've been waiting for you all. Shall we depart? One sec, there's something I'd like to ask you first. Why us? Huh? I was wondering that too. We're not local, so I'm not sure if we'd be the best suited to be your tour guides. Yeah, it's my first time in Langport, actually. Oh, I know full well that giving tours isn't your primary area of expertise, but when the local guide told me Skiltsbergen was in town, I just had to meet you. It's like you popped right out of a novel. It'd be much more fun to explore the Eastern uh, Quarter with you all than a regular tour guide. Not sure how I feel about you coming to us just because we sounded fun, more fun than the alternative. Well, what do you want to do, Van? Not sure, it's ca this kind of isn't the kind of work we usually do. Might be a good way to get familiar with the area, though. Gig sounds simple enough, too, and the girls may like having some downtime. Alright, this is different from the request that we normally take, but we'll make an exception for you. Wonderful, thank you so much. Today's going to be a lovely day. Yes, now I'll, now I'll get to tour Langport too. I'm surprised that he would turn the request down for sure. Shall we head to the Eastern Quarter then? Yeah, let's bounce. We'll decide where to go once we get there. Very well then, I'll leave the tour plan to you. Commencing mission! So beyond that gate lies the legendary Eastern Quarter, right? Like a whole townscape of sheets in vermilion, how wonderful! And the entire street was constructed according to the architectural style of the East. The lights that come from the lanterns of the wooden buildings give the place a warm, cozy ambience. The Eastern Quarter is both gorgeous and welcoming, you're gonna love it! So where should we go first? Shall we explore this street? I'll we'll definitely want to hit the shots at some point, but before that, I think we should check out the Eastern Theater. I've never heard of that before. She's in for a surprise. 
This is a place to put on performances. We saw a show there earlier and it was awesome. My, that sounds delightful. It's right over there. We'll tell you more about it once we're inside. Oh my, it's awfully crowded in here. This is a performance about to start sooner as one just wrapped up. The latter, sadly. If you have some spare time later, I recommend coming back and watching one of their shows. They're a real treat. I'll certainly consider it. So what sort of performances do they put on here? Do they host operas and musicals? Nah, they do is Eastern performance art. The shows have singing in them, but the sword dancing is the main draw. Sword dancing, my word. They don't do anything of that sort at the Opera House in Arasian. Well, operas mainly just need amazing singers and Arasian has those in spades. Eastern theater requires a little more performative flair that can complement their elaborative narratives and set designs. And one of their dancers delivers the secret spice with finesse and he's all the more popular for it. Right now, this place is the main attraction of the Eastern Quarter. Fascinating, well, I'd certainly like to meet this popular dancer if I get the chance. That red haired dancer was so dreamy. For real, I didn't even realize he was a guy until after the show. If Lux could kill, he'd be sitting in the lap of videos right now. I really hope he's in the next performance. Gotta burn his image into my mind before I head home. Ah, so those are the kind of fans he attracts. They sure like Aaron, don't they? Is it th that the fate that awaits the, uh, me if I see him on stage? Will I be lusting for him as well? Okay, I think we've seen enough of the Eastern Theater. Want to check out the Main Street? I'd love to. This place is the center of commerce for the Eastern Quarter. They got everything from inoffensive tourist shops to quaint little stalls. The world's your oyster. I thought we go to the stalls. I'm famished. You too, my guidebook. It said the food here was quite delicious. I think our course is set then. Yeah, let's see what this place has to offer. Got three green spots to check out here. Hey, friend. Got something you'll like. Hey there, she's been buying some souvenirs. Got some mega cheap medicinal herbs, affordable fortune vases, and other stuff that's exclusive to my shop. We've got moshy merchant stock. It's all the rage with the ladies. Uh, don't listen to those morons who says he's a ripoff of some mascot from Crossbell. They're just trying to drag Mo uh, uh, drag Moshi's good name? What you mean, drag down Moshi's good name? What about it, Missy? What do you say to buying a Moshi doll? The new mascot of the Eastern Quarter. It's a little cat. Cute little cat's gonna be blowing up real soon. Something strangely charming about his listless expression. I'll take 20. I need some souvenir gifts anyway. I'll give them to everyone in my family, my distant relatives, and all my son's friends. Oh, you got some deep pockets. Think twice before giving the scoundrel any money. He's scamming you. Oh, but he sounds like such a nice man. That's because I am a nice man. This is slander. I'll sue you for all you're worth if you speak another word. Now back to subject at hand, if you buy those dolls, I'll throw in these genuine Eastern bracelets free of charge. Too good a deal to pass up, don't you guys think? That's for Caroline to decide. I think it's a great deal, so I'll take the set. Your enthusiasm sold me. Yes, sir, I mean, it's a pleasure doing business with you, Missy. I think you just made this guy's day. What is that? I guess it's Why? not just all the shop I recommend shop everything buffs. here. Better buy soon, so you don't miss out! Well, wow, I don't recognize any of these titles. The covers are quite unique. I think I'll pick up a few of them. I suppose it's acceptable for a book novice to make their purchasing decision based on the cover. I see you're eyeing the Frontier Tribes, a history of the war for autonomy. That's a fascinating read. It's a frightening, accurate account of one of the bloodiest wars in the East. It's filled with vivid, gory descriptions of... I think I'll pass on that one. He likes something that's light and breezy. How about this one? It's called The Beauty of Eastern Handicraft. There's lots of foes, so even just flipping through it should be fun. That sounds right in my alley. I'll take it. You're choosing a picture book. <laughs> How pedestrian. Oh, well, at least you're taking an interest in our culture, so I won't complain too much. This little girl's got an attitude. This must be the Eastern Quarter. Oh, good stuff right here. The very best. 
Welcome, nice to see you again, Van. So, up, old man? So you're doing well? That's because I have a healthy diet. If you'd all like to be a surprise me, I recommend you try my food. Let me give you a sample for free. Go on, try some. I think I'm okay. <laughs> what sort of food do you serve here? Great question. I'm going to show you what I've got. This is my famous caterpillar skewer. It's fresh off the grill. Hey, keep those away from me. I spotted a caterpillar in my garden. I swore I'd avoid them for the rest of my life. I got right into them here of all places. It's even stranger that they actually smell good. Don't fall for it, ma'am. They'll give you food poisoning for sure. I kind of doubt that. I actually heard they taste pretty good. I'll believe it when I taste them, and with all due respect, I don't think I'll be trying those anytime soon. Okay, we've done the round. Got so much shopping done. I'm still surprised you tried the caterpillar school ewers in the end. Me too, I guess I fi just figured I'd take the chance. It didn't taste as bad as I expected, but, well, let's just say I won't be coming back for seconds anytime soon. I can't believe I just ate caterpillars. I want to throw up. Maybe it would help to take your mind off that. Where would you like to go next? I remember something we were, something is we were going from stall to stall. A long time ago, I read a novel about a gangster here in Langport. The majority of the story took place in a bar. The book featured thrilling gambling matches. It was quite the page-turner. That sounds interesting. What was it called? I don't recall. Isn't the Gambler series of uh, books in one of the other games? None of the titles at the bookstore jumped out at me, so I think it might be out of print. That's a shame. Well, if I ever stumble upon it, I'll be sure to give it a read. These do. I highly recommend it. If the pub is here in the Eastern Quarry, I'd very much like to visit it. Never gambled before, but I wouldn't mind trying my hand at it. Now there's one pub here where gamblers of all type to gather. We just went there a little while ago. Oh, you mean the bar that Jack's at? Yeah, that might be the one. This one doesn't seem to have too much in the way of, like, optional, missable stuff. It's more lively in here than I anticipated. The novel described as being run down. Oh, so no, do, uh, we still don't know if this is the pub that appears in the book. Hey, Van. Hey, who's the fancy lady you've got with you? Oh, great timing. This woman asked us to bring her here. Apparently one of her favorite novels takes place at a bar in the Eastern Quarter. Do you want to check the place out? A novel? Maybe a silly question. But are people allowed to gamble here? Normally don't partake in these kind of activities, but I really like to give it a try. Now you come to the right place. A lot of people here are gambling aficionados. Since you're a beginner, though, you'll only be able to do low-stake games. Is that okay? Yes, of course, if anything, I prefer that. Then I'll get the cards ready. Hey, Van, you're joining us. Hey, don't I get a say in this? We'll be cheering you on. Show us what you've got. Why am I getting dragged into this? Quit whining, it's not like you were doing anything in particular. Let you all pick the game. What do you all normally play? Poker, Blackjack, and Baccarat. Wanna give them all a go? I'm fine with that. Okay then, for this game we'll do 10 Mira per chip. Get ready, I'm about to crush you guys. <laughs> Hopefully this will wake me up a little. I think uh, Hal had a flush. I think can really read Jack's cards very well. We played a variety of card games and gambled their heart outs. And Jack and Hale went on easy on Caroline. She had a good time. Thank you both for indulging my request. Had so much fun. Better be careful. I may develop a gambling addiction. I feel like it was popped right in the thick of that novel. Glad to hear it. Glad to have you back anytime. Except tonight. Things could get a little rowdy around that. All right. Any other place you want to go? I hmm, think I've seen everything I wanted to. Oh wait, there's one more place I like to visit. Gotcha. Where do you want to go? I made, an ac I made an acupuncture reservation, a place here in the eastern quarter. Evidently, the treatment can improve blood flow. Oh really? The only place around here that does those kind of treatments is Long Kai Clinic. Yes, that's where I made the reservation. It's not far from here. I'll show you where it is. Okay, lead the way, Van. This is Long Kai Clinic? Yes it is, are you ready to get your acupuncture treatment? 
Yes and no. I'll admit I don't like the idea of having multiple needles stuck into my body. I really dislike my stiff shoulders and back pain even more, so I'll endure it. It's pretty hardcore for a tourism activity. I respect you for trying it out. I kind of wanted to give it a go, too. It might be a great way to recover stamina on the battlefield. I don't think that would be very practical, fa Fairy. Now then, I believe this marks the end of my sightseeing journey. Thank you so much for showing me around. No prob. Hope you enjoy the rest of your trip. <sighs> Never took on a request like that before, but I think we did a pretty good job. Um, Van, I should thank you as well. You accept your request in part so that Fairy and I can relax and enjoy some sightseeing too, right? Wait, really? Well, I guess I did have a ton of fun, and it didn't feel like work at all. Thanks, Van. You're such a nice boss. Uh, I only took the kid because I'd make us Mira. Don't get the wrong idea. All right, going to work you twice as hard now. Back to intel gathering. Yes, sir. Okie dokie, now I'm all rested up and ready to get back in the field. All in a day's work. Reward deposited. Alrighty. Do believe that's all of our side stuff now. So gotta head off to the harbor. Do this too. Gotta keep this up. Rank up. Barely made it. Damn, that's pretty Rail generous. Rig. Nice. Guess it's supposed to be like a weaker version of the Grail Locket. Alrighty. I think this is closest. Off we go. Look at all these boats! Judging by their makes, I, right, I imagine this is a privately owned pier. I think we'll find the stall here. Probably this big old naval wharf on the east side of town. Rather than hang out here, shady folk tend to end up in places like this. Sometimes you'll even find folks peddling black market goods or straight from the navy. I see. That kind of trading is possible here. I imagine it. I wonder if Heiyue has less oversight here as well. Maybe that means we'll find what we're looking for. Only one way to find out. I got a hunch where the stall might be. If we go straight there, the sun's gonna go down soon. Go on down! I got great stuff for great prices. Ah, uh, you, my fine, hard-working friend. This pristine, horrible radio comes straight from the Navy, and it's a real bargain. Hey, people actually buy your junk if it didn't break after a couple of weeks. Hey, now, sure, some of my customers have been unlucky. It's not like all my wares go bad. I and mean, come on, just look at the, the thing. It's brand breaking new. Forget it already. Besides, the wife will have a conniption if I come home with your crap in hand. Well, at least take a look at all these rare items. Don't mind if I do. Well, well, finally, man with a discerning eye. What can I do for you today? As it happens, I've been browsing the stalls all over town, but they're all just selling the same old stuff you find anywhere. I'm hoping to find something a bit more special, if you know what I mean. Oh, ho, then you come to the right place, my friend. My wares are the rarest of rare. You won't find variety like this anywhere else. What sort of item are you interested in? Is anything that looks like this? Hmm, isn't that? This must be it. I think so, too. Happy to have one on hand, would ya? I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, I'm not familiar with whatever that is. Really? I heard a rumor there was one at a stall around here. Well, about that. Please, if you know anything at all, please tell us. But, but miss, 
I have a connection to that item. It's precious to me. If you have any information at all, make sure you're duly rewarded. Won't you please help us? Really knocked him off guard. No kidding. Was it better to bust out the puppy dog guys? But whatever works, I guess. After hearing her cry for help, we couldn't leave her out to dry. We've been doing all we can to help her get back what's rightfully hers. Hell, little one here even flew in from the Central East to help investigate. Huh? That's right, Arusha teaches us to never ignore someone in need. Mary. Don't know about you, but I feel like a real asshole if I sat by and did nothing knowing these kids are doing all they can. What do you say? Would I do a good deed in the name of the Heavenly Mother? There he goes again. Okay, he's talking about laying on thick. Fine, I'll tell you what I know. I don't know to look just like that picture until just recently. Thing is, if I were you, I'd give up. But why? Unless it's all to someone else, right? Why is in their direction we can aggle with them ourselves? If only was that simple. You guys ever heard of the Messel Dab Trading Company? Ray not. Take it there from the port city up north? Yeah, but if you ever meet someone saying they work for that company, haul ass in the opposite direction. A couple of weeks ago or so, a source of mine gave me gave me the thing you're looking for and asked me to sell it off. Somehow it caught the eye of some nasty folk who claimed to work for that company. Before I knew it, not only did they come after that device, but they made off with all my best stuff without paying a single Mira. I tried to stop them, but they just beat the ever-loving crap out of me. Who still haven't fully healed. That's awful. Can't believe them. Guessing you can't take that case of the cops or the guild, given the kind of stuff you sell here either. And if you could, you wouldn't wouldn't out of consideration for your source, am I right? You're a sharp one. I said to sell it off quietly well, for cheap and never speak a word of it ever again. But lost Adios, that's all I know. Flaring more of this than meets the eye. Not to leave it here for today. Huh? Is that a party or what? Real rude of you not to invite us, old man. Uh, it's them if you value your lives, run! You're letting him go then? That means we're the ones you want. I was wondering how long it'd take till those employees came to greet us. So this is the fix you're poking around our business, huh? Then here he had some sweet arm candy with him though, that lucky asshole. Lower the runt. That, I wouldn't mind taking Blondie for a spin, if you know what I mean. The runt? Can I hurt them? Do what you want. Nothing too extreme, though. Understood. I'm not sure about this. Got some fire in those eyes, Shorty. I got a lot of steam to let off thanks to these, those local bastards. You're just the punching bat I've been looking for. Five hostiles confirmed. Commencing dismemberment. Dismemberment is the definition of extreme. Fine, let's play. Now kick You're your ass. Kick your ass. ass. A chance. Oh, lovely. This'll hurt. I have a whole lot of options I can work with here. Still in range. A bit of HP around here. There we go. No, you don't. Perfect chance. Ooh, zero our turn. Nice. Good. Wondering if I'd be able to move out of the way. I'll get them all at once. Come on, come on. Activating drive. Perfect chance. Perfect chance. I'll round them up and scatter them. Just try and take me. I'll round them up and scatter them. You make me seem to get three of them. I'll round them up and scatter them. Target locked. You're trapped. <laughs> Engaging shield. Sucker. <laughs> the guardian was not really necessary. <laughs> A chance. Full boost. Go all out. Actually, I hate to kill me. Just kill him. There. 
Deploying shield. I'll take you on. What should I do? I'll get them all at once. Initializing drive. Oh, freaking Tira. This will hurt. Go all out. Just try and take me. <laughs> oh, I didn't need the boost. I mean, the paired attack there to kill him. This is your chance for a shard boost. Keep it up. It's working. Uh, really? Engaging shield. There. <laughs> Son of a... Here goes. Use a shard He's about to get stunned. So he'll probably do that. Time to go all out. Oh, no way, that guy's stunned. You won't have the last laugh. <laughs> Damn, she did a lot of damage there. Holy crap. This is your chance for a shard boost. Activating skill. <laughs> Have some more. Come on, you'll pay for that. Hit him, Damn fast, it. Barry. <laughs> Sucker. There's their accuracy nice. so bad. Moving on up. Oh, nice. I won't stop here. I'm stronger than ever. The hell, even the chicks are strong. Or to lose now. Quick, grab the plot and one as a hostage. Are you losers for real? You get whipped and you still won't get the hell out of my town? Hey, it's him! Ah, oh, shit. It's that vigilante from the Eastern Quarter. That's our boy. Go get him! That must be him. It's Aaron. Right on cue. Uh, come on, we gotta go. <laughs> Seriously? Like I'd let you run away now. Say, Wong! Got it! I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Look at him go. Doing us proud, one butt kicking at a time. He got them in one fell swoop. A fast swoop, too. Yes, the stories didn't quite do him justice. I take it you're the guy Sal hired. I'd love to give you a proper Longport welcome, but, well. Let me guess. Jaeger brat? Not that small fry. But my beef is with the old fart behind you. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm only 24. You really that bent out of shape about outsiders butting in? Ding ding! We have a winner. If Heiyue is gonna let things go to shit, then it's up to us to handle things around here. And if I can't trust Heiyue, then I sure as hell can't trust their dog either. Try not to disappoint me. I can't hide 2, anything HP, huh? to get the upper hand. Nothing special in its effects. I dare you. Stay fast. Take this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, really? <laughs> A chance. <laughs> Maybe a good idea to heat war. Here goes. Full boost. Go all out. Time for the main event. Fans <laughs> alive. Great. 
Good job, old fart. Boy, can you miss him? Oh, is this his? Thor for me! You'll pay for that. Thank God we managed to survive. What? Okay then. Oh, what a show! Aaron's strong, but that guy in blue's no pushover. Keep it up! That guy's a beast! Aaron, isn't that enough already? <laughs> no way I'm gonna give up now! Not until this dude is begging at my feet for mercy! Who's going to win? It's hard to say. They're evenly matched. Not too shabby. But it's about time I wrap this up. That's and quite enough. Yep. Of course, it had to be you. Where did she come from? It's that bracer from before. <gasps> Is that Beauty's blade? Yeah, the famous A-rank bracer. But what's she doing here? You gotta be kidding me! Holy... I'll have to ask you all to refrain from fighting in public spaces. Do I make myself clear? Don't let that pretty face fool you. She mopped the floor with a bunch of us back home. I don't care! I ain't gonna let some lady talk down to me! <laughs> you haven't seen the last of- <laughs> I didn't think I'd be running into a celeb today. Look here, do what you want with Pops over there. But those punks are our problem. Doubt the Guild wants to stick their nose in Heiyue's business, am I right? Normally, yes. But so long as you're ordinary citizens, it is our duty as Bracers to ensure your safety. Though judging by your swordsmanship earlier, <laughs> I don't imagine you'll be needing our protection. Glad to hear it. Keep the guild out of our way, and we won't have any problems. Same goes for you guys. Go dance in the Lou family's palm for a while, see the sights, and then get the hell out of my town. Huh, that kid's even more of a handful than I was expecting. Hello, Pot, I'm Kettle. The way you broke up that fight was amazing! Sorry we ended up causing you trouble. Don't worry, it's all part of the job. This is making sure everyday people aren't dragged into dangerous situations. Oh. I hear you, alright. Anyway, since we're here, why don't we grab a bite? What a view! The skyline like this, no wonder people call this the Dazzling City. Now they one of the place's best features. No disagreement here. Please enjoy your meal. Well, ain't you the VIP? Not every day the headshot comes out to greet a guest themselves. I suppose. 
A while back, I helped this restaurant out of some trouble. They've been treating me like royalty ever since. It's been surprisingly convenient to come here since this establishment distanced itself from Heiyue. Damn, I was just joking, but you really are Miss Popular. Not if, not, so not every business in Long Port aligns with Heiyue then? Correct, there are many other companies investing in the city after all. People often use this restaurant as neutral ground to discuss business. Interestingly, the eastern food served here is more akin to Long Lai's cuisine than that of Longport. Eastern is a rather broad term, I suppose. So, um... Let's show the table talk for now. We wouldn't want the food getting cold. Especially not a meal as lovely as this. Yay! Time to dig in! Pretty is delicious, isn't it? And it shocked me the chef here trained under the best in the biz in Long Lai. Yes, we should be thanking the famous Beauty's Blade for the hookup. Uh, you can't stop. You can stop that any time. Thank you. Besides, I'm sure your client would be more than happy to prepare any reservation if you only asked. That's a fine meal the Kowloon Hotel's restaurant would do. Onto us already, huh? It doesn't quite sit well with me that you have connections like this. But given the fact they never come to us, you are the right man for the job. Expectations ain't that high, really. We're just holding down the fort until Sal gets back. I assumed as much, though I'm not sure the White Orchid Dragon would be quite as successful as securing the help he's after. While the person hasn't left it behind entirely, they seem hesitant to continue the family business. Damn, you know her? I could ask the same of you. This person keeps they keep mentioning must be very well connected. Aren't you gonna finish your food on yes? Of course. I just wanted to say that I'm glad you're here, Elaine. Not just because you stayed this earlier, but for the peace of Lang part in general. I appreciate the thought, but don't set your expectations too high. The government's tacitly given Heiyue complete freedom to run this t city as they please. I could step in when the guild's code allows, but at the end of the day, the people of the Eastern Quarter are loyal to Heiyue. Our branch here in Longport serves as an implied deterrent, nothing more. I see. Yet yeah, Calvart's favorite bracer made her way out here regardless. The Battle Mata, yeah. Exactly. Ordinarily, the guild only intervenes when the civilian's well-being is being directly threatened. There are cases where we can act preemptively, but people know where our line is and how to avoid crossing it. I've heard the words of my core talk about that before. Conflicted as I am about a girl your age saying that, I'll put it aside for now. All was as usual until a few days ago when a new organization demonstrated total disregard for that line. I'm sure you can guess who by now. Almada. Until recently, Heiyue was the undisputed leader of Calvart's criminal underbelly. Amada was just one of many mid-sized non-Eastern mafias. However, things began to change eight years ago when their former leader Enrique made a critical mistake. I imagine you've heard all this in far greater detail from some of your friends, though. Bits and pieces to the tears, say, anyway. Amada's underboss at the time took it upon himself to purge Enrique and seize control of the organization. His name is Gerard Dantes. So that's what happened. Only ever heard his name, but the guy's got to be pretty crazy, right? He certainly proved himself capable. Amanda's standing has skyrocketed in the years since he took control. His charisma is enough to bring even the most hardened criminals into his fold. As, and for as exceptionally strong as the sword arm is, it's his relentless devotion to his cause that's truly terrifying. Hold up, have you met the guy or something? I have. He didn't identify himself and couldn't quite see him because of his act of camouflage. I have no doubt that it was him. If I'd only been able to apprehend him, then I could have prevented all that Almada's done since. I was utterly powerless against him. You just think of that fight sends a chill down my spine. For real? I wish I was exaggerating. The guild and police have been looking into Almada. I suspect Heiyue... Heiyue? Heiyue. The CID and other organizations are likely doing the same. However, every attempt to probe Almada with undercover agents has ended in failure. Many bracers and the police officers have lost their lives. Oh dear, that's not good. What we do know is that Melchior, the member you met, is not Almada's only executive. I had likely somewhere here in Longport as we speak. I know Van can handle himself, and I can very, very reluctantly accept that you probably can too, Fairy. But you're where I draw the line on, yes. Dangerous hardly begins to describe the situation here. Tell me, why is the student at one of the country's most prestigious schools using your precious free time working for a fixer? I... I 
I'm sorry, all I can say is that I have my reasons. My whole life have been shackled by circumstances on my control and forced to give up on many things as a result. However, meeting Van and Fairy and working together, it feels like my eyes have been opened to a whole new world of crime. <laughs> the more I see, the more I begin to understand what it is I really want out of life. As well as the kind of person I aspire to be. And while that may wasn't my initial working my reason for working with Van, it's the main reason I'm still helping him. Aww. <laughs> I'm still not convinced this is in your best interest, but it's clear I won't be able to talk you out of this. Alright, leave you to your work for now. Please be extremely careful that it goes for you too, Fairy. Of course, you can count on me. Make sure you take the scary lady's word to art now. Would you like to take this outside? Please spare me. My apologies for the day. The, for the delay. Here is your Sambu's Han. Oh, hell yeah! What a vibrant yellow. I don't think I've ever seen a custard with quite this shape and color before. Look at it wobble around! What a strange texture. It's the perfect level of sweetness. The dessert's so slick, it'll slip and slide against the plate, your chopsticks, and even the inside of your mouth. That unique mouthfeel compared with its gentle and subtle flavor is sublime, revolutionary even. In fact, it's a bigger game changer than the Democratic Revolution. I know, right? I've been being asked, has he always been like this? I never did this when we were kids. Finishing their meal and parting ways with Elaine, they return to the Eastern Quarter by bus. They're still early, but feeling tired from their first day of work, the group chose to return to the hotel. Yeah, not a problem. Be there in a sec. A flush. Looks like I win this one. Ah, I was feeling lucky tonight, too. You might have had a shot if you hadn't gone all in at the end there. A win's a win, though. You're paying double for your info this time. Yeah, whatever. Your booze phone was looking pretty dry anyway. By the way, I heard Elaine's in town. All right, forgot you in there. Yeah, I just got here this evening. <laughs> What's with the creepy laugh? Ain't it tough being so popular? Everywhere you turn, there's another girl vying for your attention. You have too much to drink, bud. Like you've got any right to talk without we all know your old pal is. Nope, we're done talking about this. Talking about what? It's guy stuff. Way too dirty for the likes of you. Now, shoo. <sighs> Why are men like this? Asshole! Anyway, what I got for you is way heavier than the stuff you're working on this afternoon. Now Blondie and the kid are ready for it, to be honest. Why do you think I came alone? I see a pair of cheating pros have been going around making a mess of Longport's gambling scene. Only it'd be my job to do something about it, but there are rumors that A is backing them. A huge help if you investigate them in my stead. If things go well, I'll deduct your info fee in addition to giving you a reward. Talk to Poisson for the deets. Oh, Nyrus working with A, huh? Yeah, that's a mess, all right. Nope, oh, see you around. You going alone? That's the plan. I know you're tough and all, but wandering around this town late at night by your lonesome ain't the brightest idea. Now, don't bite my head off. Why not ask Elaine to come along? Like I've got any right to do that. I can't help this myself. Got the best nose in the biz, you know. 
Don't work that sniffer too hard, you hear? Alrighty then. I think, given the time, this is probably where we're gonna end it then. So with that, I guess I'll say thank you all for coming on out, and hopefully I will see you again next time. Maybe we'll actually get Aaron to join the party at some point. See y'all.